Oh, no scripts, here we go. What is up everybody? My name is Pete and I play music. So if you saw my last video, you will no doubt have spotted that I have a new guitar. This one to be exact. This is the Chapman Guitars M017 in a lovely unicorn burst, which is a kind of turquoisey green to purple. And this one is actually the prototype. So if you see any pictures of this on the Chapman Guitars website and the Anderson's website, for example, it's actually this guitar. This is also the one that went to Nam. Very cool. But Pete, you already have a Chapman Guitar 7 string. Yes, I do. This one to be exact. This one is the old ML7S, I think it's called. And it obviously looks very, very different. It's been discontinued for quite some time now. So seeing as I have both renditions of the Chapman 7 strings here, why don't we put them head to head? So which one's best and what do I sound like? There's only one way to find out, and that's with a good old fashioned guitar battle. So I love me a 7 string and for 10 years now it's kind of been my preference. I'm not so much a fan of tuning down 6 strings, heavy gauge strings tend to feel weird to me and a thicker gauge doesn't really negate the tuning issues that it brings, at least for me. So for me 7 string is exactly what I want and it's kind of been my preference. I like that you have a low string to riff on and that you're not losing any range because you have an entirely untouched 6 string above that. So what are the differences between these two guitars? The first thing you'll notice is probably the massive difference in colour and build quality. The new M017 is a much sleeker, more sophisticated guitar I guess. It feels like a much higher end guitar which should cost a bit more money and it does, it costs about £400 more. It's neck through as opposed to the old model being a glued in neck. There's a maple cap which has been carved and stained in an awesome colour. The neck profile is thinner and feels faster, although the scale length is the same. I guess the headstock design isn't for everybody, it's more of a traditional kind of thing. Some people would seem to prefer the modern one. I honestly prefer this one, I think it suits the guitar a lot more. There's locking tuners on both guitars, except the ones on this guitar are clearly a better quality and they look a lot better. They have open gearing on the back, which is a very very subtle way of adding some style. The pickups. Okay, so the pickups on this one, as I understand it, are exactly the same as the six string version. It sounds like these ones have been focused very much towards the mids, but not in a very aggressive way. And because this is the prototype, they may have changed the voicing since this was made. I don't know. All right, so the elephant in the room, and the one thing that everyone has been talking about is the bridge. So the six string version of this guitar and the old seven string model have a hip shot inspired bridge. This one is more of a Fender inspired bridge and people seem to think that's kind of a downgrade. All I can say is that this bridge doesn't feel like a downgrade, it's responsive to changes and setup tweaks. It feels every bit as good as the hip shot inspired one, if not better. The only problem I had with it is I cut my hand once on it. Ooh, that's a big one. So if you have any doubts about the bridge on this guitar, don't, it's awesome. The only reason I hurt myself on my guitar was because I was jumping around in an enclosed area. <laughs> so there you have it, this is kind of going to be my new baby and you're going to be seeing a lot of it. This is lighter, it looks better, it's easier to play. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments. I will do my best to reply and answer your questions. And yeah, sorry it's been a while since the last video. My computer broke and needed repairing, hence the laptop. If you want to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And consider checking out my Patreon for tabs and backing tracks and extras like audio stems for all my videos. Thanks for watching everybody and until next time, my name is Pete and I play music.